what do you know? I'm back. <laughs> well, it is May, still May, which means May is Asian History Month. I went to the library and there's all these different books and movies talking about, oh, Japan, China, Korea, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Mongolia. And interestingly enough, there at the library, they had this, Gunslinger Girl. I only, I didn't quite finish Gunslinger Girl, but I, I love it. I love, uh, I only got through disc one of Gunslinger Girl. I really do enjoy, I really do love anime. Gunslinger Girl, it's, it's a little bit, it was a little slow to get into. Every new season is slow to get into, but, you know, sorry, not new season. Every new TV show, it's a little hard to get into, but once you get into it, you're just, you know, same thing went for Blood Plus. Actually, Blood Plus was a little different. Blood Plus had a great pilot episode, a great introduction to who to who um, Saya was and who Hachi was and everybody. And speaking of Blood Plus, yes, the whole series right here, Blood Plus. Of all the TV shows in the world, I love Blood Plus. It is my all-time favorite anime TV show. There's two different types of, of Japanese anime. There's movies and TV shows. TV shows, Blood Plus. Movies, Akira. Love Akira so much. Perhaps the best thing to watch when you're in a bad mood, Eddie Murphy, the best of Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live. Eddie Murphy was the savior for Saturday Night Live. At the time, the, the whole original cast moved on to new projects. Chevy Chase was big, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd were big, Bill Murray was big. So what's gonna happen? You're gonna get Eddie Murphy and he's gonna rescue Saturday Night Live. He is my favorite cast member on Saturday Night Live, especially when he did the um, when he did the assassination or the murder of his favorite of his famous character Buckwheat, and that was a spoof on the assassination attempt of then President U.S. President Ronald Reagan. They also did a satire to the assassination of Lee Harvey Oswald. Definitely, when it comes to Saturday Night Live history, really important, really important Eddie Murphy. I'm a huge heavy metal fan. I got Metalocalypse the first season. There we go. Metalocalypse the first season. If Mark Hamill ever came to Comic-Con in Canada, I would actually get him to sign to sign the DVD. I know most people would have him sign Batman Joker posters or Star Wars posters. Mark Hamill is a really fantastic voice actor and to hear his voice in Metalocalypse, it's I I just heard his voice and I went Mark Hamill? I looked it up. No way! It is! It is Mark Hamill! And Clockwork Orange actor Malcolm McDowell! Wow! That's awesome! So, yeah, definitely I would have Mark Hamill sign the, the cover and and of course from what I heard about Mark Hamill, he's just a really decent man to hang out with. Uh, this one I was... This one I grew, I grew interested in because I listened to the soundtrack of Queen of the Damned. Queen of the Damned, a vampire movie. I'm a huge vampire fan. Not a Twilight fan, but I'm a huge fan of the movies Lost Boys, 30 Days of Night, and the Blade movies. The late 90s was pretty much what I, what I personally call the early golden, the first stages of the golden age of the vampire era. You know, in the 80s, the, well, the Lost Boys movies, Lost Boys and Near Dark, they were kind of showing it's cool to be a vampire. And then in the 90s, it showed that vampires were bad guys. And then in the early 2000s, well, the late 90s, early 2000s, we had Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So yeah, this movie came out at a great time, but also came out at in tragedy because Aaliyah, the main star here, Aaliyah, she died one year before the movie was released in a plane crash. And you know what? If Aaliyah were alive today, whew, she would be everywhere. She'd still be everywhere. I've, I still see people and men and women wearing Aaliyah t-shirts, Queen of the Damned t-shirts, and I'll go, hey, that's Aaliyah. And, and people going, oh my god, yeah, that's Aaliyah. There you go. And, you know, she should be selling out stadiums, going to autograph sessions, people going, hey, Aaliyah, and, you know, there you go. And, you know, but... Not to be, sadly enough. I covered a lot in this haul video. I think it's time for me to carry on to part two, so stay tuned for part two.